Thank you so much. My sisters, Ambassador Isabel Pico and, and Ambassador Alia Saif Al Tahini, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, and I just want to give a special recognition, recognition to Juan Pablo Salazar. I had a great conversation just in this small time that we've met. Thank you for being so inspirational. And of course, my compatriot, Masai Ujiri. Welcome. I'm really delighted to, to join this celebration of International Day of Sports um, for Development and Peace, and it's really important that development and peace, uh, and both, uh, I think, you know, we strive every day in the United Nations to try to make sure that we can transition from all the crises and conflict that we see um, to peace and to development. And so thank you to the amazing ladies for making this happen and bringing us together. As Nelson Mandela reminded us, sport has the power to change the world. In times of divisions and distrust, sport has helped to bring people and communities together. It's also helped us to find common ground. I remember a couple of decades ago with an NGO I had in my village in Nigeria, I had um, summer school. And what we did was to take the schools and bring half of a group of children who have and half who don't have. Um, and to bring them for extra lessons in math and English, hard in the, day, in, in the beginning of the morning, but to bring them together with board games when it was really hot outside and in the evening when it was cooler, um, to put them on the sports field. And I saw what, it, what children did to bring each other together to ensure there was no exclusion, because in that class there were girls, Muslim girls, and there were also people living with disabilities. And, and here, when one of them thought that the young boy was not able to join them because he had polio, he suffered from polio, could not join them, they all banded together and they found the resources uh, to, to, for a wheelchair for him to participate in sport. And when suddenly somebody shouted out that, you know, the young girl, Muslim girl, could not participate in sport um, because the religion said she couldn't, very quickly everybody went to look um, at the... Uh, at the Quran to find that in fact there wasn't anywhere there that said that she couldn't participate in sport and they made sure that she was able to. So it is about bringing people in, it's about inclusion, finding unity and um, where we are uh, in these days so full of distrust. I'd like us to think about again the common ground that was brought together in 1995, the Rugby World Cup in South Africa, emerging from apartheid, rallied together under the name of sport. Think about the stories of soldiers that are climbing over the trenches of the first Christmas Eve of the First World War to play football and to bring about a momentary truce on the Western Front. Think about table tennis in the 1970s, thawing tensions during the Cold War and giving birth to the term ping pong diplomacy. So sport has the power to align our passion, energy, enthusiasm around collective causes. And this is precisely when hope can be nurtured and trust can be regained. It is in our collective interest to harness the tremendous power of sport to help us build a better and more sustainable future for everyone. Indeed, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development identified sport as an enabler for sustainable development. Sport can help us to promote peace, tolerance, respect, contribute to the empowerment of women and young people, and advance health, education, and social inclusion. The United Nations recognizes the power of sport to bring people together and achieve our common goals. Last year, the Secretary General issued a report on strengthening the global framework for leveraging sport for development and peace. To direct our ambitions and efforts, both the 2017 Kazan Action Plan and the Global Action Plan on Physical Activity from 2018 to 2030 are tools for convergence and coherence around sport for development and peace. But of course, no institution or entity can do this alone. To achieve the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development, we need partnerships, genuine ones between all parts of society, especially our youth and our local communities. Today, you will learn more about some important sporting projects on which we are collaborating with an array of partners from around the world. But let me just cite two examples. We're working closely with the International Olympic Committee and the Tokyo Organizing Committee for the Olympic and Paralympic Games to raise global awareness of the Sustainable Development Goals. And last year I was in Tokyo. It's an amazing effort that's been made where you see the games being greened, really uh, tackling the sustainable development issues. The Tokyo 2020 Games Sustainability Plan and ambitions are rooted in delivering sustainable games and showcasing many of the innovative solutions that they have. 
We welcome in particular efforts to address climate change, consider human rights and labour and fair business practices. We're also working closely with football's FIFA to raise awareness of the SDGs at the local community levels. The partnership is about such topics as advancing women in leadership and setting policies and making the most of sport as a tool for youth development and building life skills. Sport can also mobilize cross-generational participation and serve as an effective vehicle to reach the most vulnerable, including people living with disabilities. As leaders in this field, each of you here today has the power, the network, and resources to make a meaningful difference. Let us intensify our shared efforts in achieving the Sustainable Development Goals and truly recognize the power of sport to change the lives of individuals, of communities, countries, and beyond. We have the opportunity to change the manner in how sporting events are governed and managed in the day-to-day -day operations green procurement policies, bidding proposals that comply with social environmental considerations are just two additional areas that I think we can call upon everyone for further engagement and support. So finally, thank you once again for being here. Thank you for your engagement. Thank you for helping the world score 17 goals for humanity.